What is up everybody in the Saints fan today? I have some news for you guys and information about GTA Online. So if you are excited for that and you can't wait, leave a like because that is always good. Now getting into the news, we are going to be talking about some things that people have found in the actual game code. Now before we actually get into this, I just want to say none of this is confirmed by Rockstar. So take this with a grain of salt, but still most of this stuff will probably happen. So the first thing we have is, and this is no shock to anybody, but according to some people or to some sources, Rockstar will be bringing back some fan game modes to GTA Online, such as Cops and Crooks, Free For All Races, Team Deathmatch, and then now obviously we can customize those a little bit more with the uh, the, the, the you know the game customizer. So that should be really cool. Now I think GTA 4's online could only handle 16 players, but somebody actually found something in the code which possibly could indicate a slight player bump to 32 players because some of these game modes actually had that 32 player limit but a lot of people were sort of speculating that this may be because actually a couple days ago somebody was digging in the game files and they found a PC and an Orbis uh, game file which the Orbis is actually stands for the PS4 it's the code name for it and a lot of people were saying maybe this 32 player cap might be for when it comes out on PC even though there's no information on that so I don't know if 32 players that'd be amazing if we could have 32 players on Xbox but it all comes down to the hardware limitations and as we know GTA 5 is a huge game so I don't know how that's gonna really work we'll have to obviously wait and see but besides those game modes that you know I was just talking about Rockstar is also gonna give us 500 missions to do online and they haven't really gone too much in detail about these but some things have leaked and some of these missions actually indicate some pretty cool things. For example, one of the missions will actually have you assassinating another player in the game while the cops actually try to stop the assassination from happening. So there's some uh, some deep you know integration with the cops and the you know the, the people and stuff. So that sounds really cool. Additionally, in, in the cops and crooks game mode, it it's gonna have this interesting feature where cops can actually use scanners to check license plates to see if the vehicle is stolen, which can in turn alert the police to any suspect and assign a squad car to come and arrest them. Now that sounds really cool and I can't wait to see what else they have in store for us. Now the last thing I have for some news about it is that GTA Online will probably feature some sort of microtransaction system. And according to an XML file located in the game, GTA Online could feature a cash card transaction in the GTA store and the value of these cards are said to have ranged from a hundred thousand to 1.2 million dollars and the description on these cards in the game says cash is king in this town solve your money problems and help get what you want across Los Santos and Blaine County with the purchase of cash packs for Grand Theft Auto Online all purchased cash is automatically deposited into your character's bank account spend wisely cash therapy is fleeting now at the moment like i said rockstar has not indicated anything about microtransactions but it does make sense because obviously online you know eventually people are going to run out of missions and if it's the same way single player works people are going to need money because obviously like it says money is the king you know you need money so if they do introduce this let me know what's your thoughts in the comments below do you think these microtransactions are good do you think that people should be able to pay real life money for in-game money and are you gonna do it if you know if this does actually happen so that is it with the news I can't wait for GTA online we have seven days like I said hope you guys are ready for it too because I'm gonna be doing a crew video in the next day or two we're trying to get everything set up getting a crew ready for you guys so we can all get in there and you know start <laughs> going to town and doing these missions so hope you guys enjoyed that like said subscribe so you don't miss all that stuff like the video if you did enjoy it and as always it's worth it's gonna go